movie producer and CEO of CineState. Dallas, thanks for being with us tonight. Um, good to have you with us. You know, it's very interesting reading me. about your history. Obviously, you had a lot of success. You're working with Greta Gerwig in Hollywood and doing independent films and um, involved in a lot of, of work that people there would respect and admire. So what, what started to happen in your life that you thought, you know what, I, I'm, I'm tired of this whole rap? Yeah, it was two things. First of all, in, in my Hollywood life and career, I noticed that there was a studio system in place where the writer and director would bring their product to the executives in the studios and ask for financing. And the, the scripts would be put through a diffusion process. The creative executives would uh, put their you know, derivative notes onto the script. And what would, came, what would come out the other side would be something that I didn't really respond to very much. I think as, fil as film producers, we need to uh, support the creative vision of the uh, writer and director uh, effusively, otherwise just not make the movie. And I think that's, yeah. uh, that's kind of period, end of story. The other thing that happened was I lost both of my parents mm -hmm. uh, in terrible uh, situations of domestic gun violence. And after that happens to one person, you don't have a lot of, uh, of, of time for BS. I'm sure you don't. I'm sure you don't. Um, and when you take a look at the way things were being done in Hollywood and the future that you wanted to cover out, you picked up, you brought your family to Texas where you grew up, and you say that now you have something, is it called the, the Tennessee Cousins Rule or the Texas Cousins Rule <laughs> about how you figure yeah. out whether or not something's going to work in the rest of America? Yeah, what, what I do, uh, my, my, both, both sides of my family is from Louisiana, and uh, what I have is the Louisiana Cousin Test. And what I'll do is I will text my cousin the name of the actor uh, that I'm about to cast in the movie, and if they know who that actor is, it tends to give me a good sense of whether the movie will do well in audiences outside of L.A. and New York. So the Louisiana Cousin Test has proven... Give me an example of somebody that they, that they would go, eh, no, that does nothing for me. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, the, the example I've given in the past, Timothy Chalamet, for mm -hmm. example, um, although he's a very talented actor and yeah, was nominated, he, uh, he, he just doesn't... He just do, he's, he's not, not resonating with, with the cousins in he's Tennessee. Not, he's not resonating with that, with that <laughs> So with you that have crowd. a formula, basically, for making money off these movies, and, and you say, you know, if you do a movie about someone who, you know, had a family member who was injured or wronged, and then they unjustly go to prison, and then they come out again, um, and they go back and, and, you know, shoot the people who did this to them, you're going to make money on your movie, depending on how you distribute it. Yeah. Yeah, that was, uh, th those were predominantly my previous films with uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. But if, if, you, if you just make a movie where it, it is, it's un uncompromising and unforgiving uh, and doesn't really worry too much about political correctness yeah. or filtering your own personal politics through, through the film, I think what you'll find is that the movie becomes more authentic and I think that audiences crave authentic experiences yeah. and entertaining experiences. So that's what I found, and it's proven to be a very successful I, financial model for us. I'm almost out of time, but I just need to squeeze this in because you have a movie that you're working on that's about a girl in a school shooting incident who turns the gun on the shooter and kills him. Yeah. And you said you might have difficulty casting that role. Uh, how's that going? Yeah. It's called Run, Hide, Fight, and it's a terrific script uh, mm -hmm. about a young girl who decides to fight back instead of run away from a, a terrible situation. And she leans on her uh, experiences of hunting with her father over the several years that, that she was a teenager. And I, I found that the script is incredible. Uh, people really love it, but the actors have given pause and their managers and agents have mm -hmm. sort of at times talked them out of, of starring in the movie out of fear of backlash. Yeah. And be ultimately, we're going to make the movie. And it's, it's the it's whole idea of, you know, a good person with a gun uh, ending a bad situation uh, for someone else who's holding one on innocent people. Dallas, thank you very much. It's very interesting. Good to talk to you. Thank you. Thanks you for having me.